that takes care of the implant itself. One of the nice things about Cirac Mitz Galileos is the ability to plan and pre-make our implant temporary prior to surgery, making the surgery visit significantly faster and easier and better for the patient. So let's take a look at the technique that would allow us to pre-make our temporary for an immediate implant placement. Here we can see our surgical guide fitted on a model, uh, has good stability, uh, of course, in this scenario, we're placing a 3i implant. Um, but if you take a notice here, you can see that with a 3i implant, uh, a unique feature to their system is that it has these two alignment rings that allow you to time and align the hex of the implant. And we'll come back to this uh, at a future time and get a better understanding of that. Now, in this few picture, what we can see here is this is considered a lab analog mount uh, with the analog screwed to the lab analog. And what this lab analog will do is will slide through the surgical guide and allow us to precisely place our implant analog to replicate the position of the implant. Now this with the 3i system this lab analog comes in several lengths and sizes based on the particular surgical guide plan uh, in recipe that's provided to you from CCAT, you will choose the correct uh, implant lab uh, placement uh, device here. And this is the 4-3 lab implant analog. So here we can see the lab uh, placement along with the analog placed into the surgical guide. And we use our little device here, the um, slot that is pre-made into the surgical guide and into the uh, implant uh, master cylinder from 3i and we line that up with our uh, lab analog. Then we'll make either a hole into our model or drill out the area of the tooth that we'll be restoring. So once we have that area drilled out we can then retrofit our surgical guide onto a model along with a lab analog and place that into the model, make sure nothing prevents it from seating all the way. And now what this allows us to do is accurately replicate our implant position, in essence creating an implant level impression before we begin. And again, this is very accurate and very reproducible thanks to the different component pieces and to the surgical guide technique. Here we can see um, some soft tissue has been placed um, in that area for the model and this is basically an implant level impression with the implant uh, hex timed based on the surgical guide and a soft tissue. From here we can pretend this is an implant analog impression after the surgery and basically make our temporary in advance. Here we fitted a prefabricated plastic temporary cylinder from 3i onto our implant analog and from here we can make some modifications that are necessary to allow placement and positioning of our implant. And basically now what we have is our temporary abutment, implant level impression, and we're ready to fabricate our CEREC restoration.